All right, I apologize in advance for the crappy audio um, that I'm feeding you guys, but um, I really wanted to get this tutorial out and I didn't have time to go out and buy a microphone. So we're building a uh, web view today in Swift. So we're gonna go ahead, load Xcode 6 beta um, or Xcode 6, whatever version you have. Um, just go ahead and load it as long as it has the Swift programming language. Create a new project. Uh, we can call it Web View Tutorial. All right. Um, language. Make sure it's Swift and not Objective C. Swift. Um, and then we're gonna do it for the iPhone. Hit Next. Let the project load. Save it. Whatever you want to do. All right, so inside your main project, make sure you put it for portrait. You can do upside down if you want. Don't worry about landscape. All right, so go to your story storyboard. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and highlight mine. And I'm gonna set it to the 3.5 inch, um, so that way it actually fills the entire area. Um, so go ahead and add a web view right into it, um, just like that. There you go. All right, so and then go into your assistant editor. Um, no son of a biscuit. What the heck? All right, if we could make sure it's portrait, um, so that way you're not getting what I just got. All right, so above the override function, give yourself a little bit of room. That won't hurt anything. And go ahead and insert the outlet as a web view. All right, you got your web view. Next thing, you're gonna want to have the URL that you want um, for the uh, web view to load. So go to var URL path um, and then equals and then you want to do your quotes and just kind of wait for it to load because it's a little slow at loading. So and then make sure your text is red and just do google.com for simplicity. Um, now if you want to try something more advanced after this go ahead and try uh, If you want to try something now I mean I'm not stopping you because I mean I have no physical way to do that. Next thing, you're going to need a function to load the URL. So we're going to do function load, what the heck, load, lo what the frick? <laughs> All right, we're going to try this down here. This is, all right. There we go. Load address URL. Get those quotes or those brackets. And then we're going to do the load address URL is simply the name. Same thing with the var uh, with the URL path. URL path is just the name of the object. So let and then the object name. We're going to do request URL equals n ns URL string URL path. Under that, we're going to do let request equals n s URL request URL request URL. And then last thing, your name of the web view that you have as the outlet webview.load request request all right so let's see here used of unsolved oh okay little v there we go all right and then in the super view did load go ahead and put load address URL so let's just see here var web view web view everything that comes after a var a function and a let is all names they're all just names that you give them essentially I mean that's all they are so then the var URL path that's simply just a string right there um, very simple and then this right there that's just telling the um, system that it's a web view that it's loading. So next thing, you're gonna to wanna to bring up your simulator and load the project. 
project project whatever you want to say so uh, Swift um, came out just a couple days ago and um, I've been really happy to be working with it I love it a lot more than Objective C I mean oh, I hated Objective C <laughs> um, so all right give it a second here and voila Google is now loaded so that's it for this tutorial the source code will be in the description of this video thank you so much for watching subscribe for more Swift tutorials that should be coming up pretty soon um, I'm Cameron thank you for watching